there are mysterious plasma bubbles floating around the pyramids of Giza. As bizarre as that might sound, let's get one thing clear right off the bat. There's nothing extraterrestrial going on here. Plasma bubbles are those weather anomalies that form in a layer of Earth's atmosphere called the ionosphere. This is an invisible layer surrounding our planet that stretches roughly from 50 to 400 miles above Earth's surface, right at the edge of space. In this layer, the Sun, being the giant hot power that it is, basically cooks gases, splitting them into electrically charged particles called plasma. Here's where it gets interesting. At night, especially near the equator, these charged particles get disturbed, and when a bunch of them suddenly vanish at the same time, it forms what we call a plasma bubble. Imagine it like a big empty pocket where the plasma is missing or its quantity is lowered. But it's only considered a plasma bubble if this phenomenon occurs on a large scale, typically around 62 miles in size. If you're already packing your suitcase for Egypt and have put binoculars to look at the tips of the pyramids, I'm sorry to say that we can't see these plasma bubbles with the unaided eye. It's all happening way above our heads, completely invisible to us. Scientists need to use special equipment, like the Latitude Long Range Ionosphere Radar, or LARID, to detect these bubbles. This advanced technology helps researchers track and observe the movement and formation of plasma bubbles in real time. This formation, by the way, can be triggered by solar storms. That brings us to November 2023, when an impressive solar storm occurred. On a scale from 1 to 5, this one was classified as a G3, which is considered a strong event. Solar storms occur when sunspots are basically cooler, darker areas on the sun's surface, release bursts of energy into space. These flares triggered several geomagnetic storms on Earth. While this might sound like doomsday stuff, it didn't disrupt our daily lives too much. In fact, it was great news for sky watchers, since the solar storm created stunning auroras, with the northern lights visible as far south as Greece and Turkey. But this particular storm in 2023 also had another interesting consequence. It caused the largest plasma bubble ever recorded by the Chinese radar. This phenomenon was so massive that it covered regions as far apart as the Egyptian pyramids and the Midway Islands in the Pacific Ocean. Now that's a huge distance, and it is a big deal for science. And that's because plasma bubbles are a growing threat to modern technology. Experts say they can disrupt satellite communications and GPS systems. So if you're using Google Maps or Waze and suddenly it can't figure out where you are, a plasma bubble might be to blame. Great, we now know what's going on with those bubbles detected above the pyramids of Giza, but things get even weirder inside this ancient construction. Apparently, the Great Pyramid of Giza has the ability to concentrate electromagnetic energy within its interior. A couple of years ago, a group of researchers decided to see what would happen if they took this ancient architecture and hit it with radio waves. I mean, waves that are similar to the kind your phone uses, but on a much larger scale, up to 1,900 feet long. But since they couldn't just start blasting radio waves at the actual pyramid, they did the next best thing, computer modeling. Using these simulations, the researchers discovered something incredible. The Great Pyramid can actually concentrate electromagnetic energy within its internal chambers, as well as underneath its base, where an unfinished chamber is located. By concentrate, I mean something like trap it. For example, when you shout into a cave, you hear your voice echo back, right? The sound waves don't just disappear, they bounce around and get focused. Similarly, when radio waves hit the pyramid, they don't just pass through or around it. Instead, they get absorbed, bounce around, and focus inside and underneath the pyramid. Our list of mysterious phenomena surrounding the Egyptian pyramids doesn't end there. Inside the pyramid, there's a long, narrow passage that leads to what's known as the King's Chamber. This room sits at the center of the pyramid and it's believed to have been the final resting place of Pharaoh Khufu, the ancient Egyptian leader who commissioned the entire thing over 4,000 years ago. When visitors step into the king's chamber, 
two things normally strike them. The room's incredible acoustics and its heavy, imposing structure, which is entirely lined with red granite. Recently, scientists have started to connect these two facts. Some researchers now believe that the King's Chamber might be able to catch or pick up sound energy generated from other parts of the pyramid. In other words, this room might have been designed to amplify sound in a way that no other chamber in the pyramid can. To test this theory, researchers conducted an experiment where they sang in the Queen's Chamber, which is located directly below the King's Chamber. Here's where it gets wild. The music couldn't be heard in the lower underground rooms of the pyramid, but it sounded loud and clear in the king's chamber. One possible explanation for this is the type of stone used in the king's chamber, pink granite. Granite is known for its piezoelectric properties, meaning it can absorb energy from its surroundings, like sound vibrations, and convert it into electrical energy. This suggests that the chamber's unique acoustics might be due to more than just the shape of the room. It could be that the granite itself plays a role in amplifying and concentrating sound waves. According to scientists, these discoveries open up a whole new field of research into the pyramid's potential. Could the ancient pyramids have somehow harnessed the energy created by sound waves or even Earth's natural vibrations? It might sound far-fetched, but considering the granite's piezoelectric properties are well documented in modern science, it's not entirely impossible. Who knows, maybe we've only just scratched the surface of what the pyramids were truly capable of. Speaking of just scratching the surface, there's even more to think about, like how the pyramids ended up in such a perfect location. It seems the builders lined up the Great Pyramid with the cardinal points meaning its sides are almost perfectly aligned with the four main directions – north, south, east, and west. There are many theories about how they did it, but one study suggests that Egyptians might have used the fall equinox to achieve this perfect alignment. During the equinox, the sun rises and sets directly in the east and west. It probably made it easier for builders to use the sun's position as a guide. By watching the sun during this time, they could make sure the pyramids were positioned just right. If we think about all these strange things about the pyramids, I mean, their perfect alignment, the ability to concentrate radio waves, and the materials used in the chambers that might generate electrical energy, could the real purpose of the pyramids actually be much more complex than just being tombs? Well, Nikola Tesla thought so. It is said that the famous inventor and engineer was kind of obsessed with the Egyptian pyramids, and he wondered if they might actually be giant energy transmitters. He believed the shape and position of the pyramids could help them function as huge generators, capable of producing free, limitless energy. Some researchers agree with Tesla and believe that these massive monuments might have been designed as giant power plants. According to their theory, Builders could have figured out how to move ions, those electrically charged particles in the atmosphere, by placing materials like copper, gold, and silver around the pyramids. So, it's definitely possible that the ancient Egyptians created a sustainable, renewable power source. Although, this is a very interesting thought. We haven't been able to confirm this theory, and the true purpose of the pyramids remain one of humanity's biggest mysteries. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.